What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tierra J, and I'm here with a DIY eye tip install. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Shout out to Curls Queen for sponsoring today's video. These are the eye tips we will be working with today. As always, y'all know uh, Curls Queen is for the girls. It's for the luxury girls. God damn. Ooh. She finna get us together. Curls can go get us together. It's okay. Um, so they sent over three bundles. I would believe 300 milligrams of these beautiful curly, kinky curly eye tips. Honey, honey, honey. Let me get into these eye tips. The, the texture, the everything. Y'all will see it in this video. But I just want a huge emphasis on you need some quality hair for eye tips. This is a investment type of hairstyle. This is a longevity hairstyle. And so the fact that Curls Queen always offers quality with all the hair, I've used pretty much all the hair. Um, and the eye, tip, eye tips are right up there with the with the top tierness okay so i washed and conditioned them and i let them air dry and i just sprayed like a leave-in on them and y'all they were so soft they are still so soft this is definitely some hair i recommend for eye tips and they match my texture really good like of course it wasn't spot on but it matched it pretty well and so to start this is the most important step girl blow dry your hair i'm gonna be saying that all throughout this video but um blow drying your hair do not do eye tips on wet hair first of all Blow drying your hair makes it easier to work with, and it's you just need to blow dry your hair. That's it. Here's my hair. Y'all make sure y'all check out my one year natural hair update if you haven't. So we're gonna jump right into our first official step, which is sectioning your hair. You wanna section it off like you were doing the sew-in, and I left out room for my um, middle part and side part. Step two is to gather your tools and prep the beater. You wanna make sure your beater is locked and loaded and ready to go. So here's how the eye tips get to looking, and don't worry, we're gonna rewind. Step three, we're gonna start with parting a small row. Emphasis on the small. We are working in small sections. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here and let y'all know not to do this. I was defining each section of my hair before I put the tips on, and that was a huge mistake. Don't do that, don't do that. But anyway, step four, take a micro section from that small row, put your bead on, and we are gonna do that for the entire row. It just makes it so much easier to like finish this step with the whole row rather than doing one tip at a time. You know, you got your little bead and momentum going, you might as well just finish out the row. So boom, you got your beads, you got your row rowing. And step five, we're gonna place the eye tip in the bead and clamp it down. No worries, I'm gonna zoom in in just a minute to show y'all up close how to do this. But just to show y'all an overview of how easy it really is. It is time consuming, but it's very easy. So here's how my hair and the eye tip hair is blending. Like I said, I should have let the blow dry for sure, but whatever, let me show y'all how to do this thing. So you take your micro section, you take the tip, you put it in. And then you have a baby in nine months. I'm <laughs> just playing. Listen. Okay. Rewind. Let's be serious. Um, when you put the tip in there, um, you want to make sure you have enough room to flip it up and down. Oh, my God. This is just sounding bad. Maybe it's because my mind, Lord. Protect my mind, Lord. But y'all get what I'm saying? You, you, you don't want the tip right on you. You know what I'm saying? Keep the tip away. You know, we can avoid things like STDs and unwanted pregnancies. If you just keep the tip away from you have some room okay but for real y'all you want to have that extra room so it doesn't hurt so you can put it in a ponytail so that eye tip is not scraping your scalp it's not poking you and you you know what i'm saying you have a seamless install just like that so you just keep going row by row and notice my row placement is going like perpendicular to like my top leave outs that way when you pull it up to a ponytail the beads are flat it's seamless and you know just like a sew-in how you would put, lay the tracks like going at a curve when you come up by your edges and stuff you do the same with the eye tip install honestly eye tip install any type of extension service is all about placement and just to give you an idea about how long this took i would say like maybe four hours but i did take breaks and stuff so it really wasn't too bad i got finished with like a majority of everything i had like a small little circle left which y'all will see in just a minute because these beads stressed my life so <laughs> This is like day two. This is where I'm at. I can see the, the promise. I see the promises of God are yes and amen. I can see it, I can see it. But girl, she done ran out of, uh, what they call it, the links. 
So that's how much I have left. Got like that whole middle to do. I did get done with this part over here. So my little side part is installed. Of course I haven't, um, you know, defined anything yet, but we gotta take a pause. We gotta run to the store. I don't even want to show this side. Just look at this side. Because she did that. No. <laughs> she, she did that side. Don't look at this side. Because what? Look at this side. What? Where is the hair? Where is... Can you find it? I don't see it. Celebrity stylist on my head. Brandy Alexis. Listen, don't play yeah. with her. With these eye tips. Okay, come get your eye tips. Oh, come, come get your eye tips. I got a tip for your eye Listen! <laughs> y'all is not gonna be oh. able to tell me this is not my hair. It is though. It's it's beautiful. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see? Get into Next it. natural hair update coming soon. Okay. <laughs> Lint check. Lint check. Y'all been using some miracle growth oil. <laughs> yeah, a lot of scope. For real. <laughs> Sponsor me. <laughs> Cause that's the works. Girl, <laughs> you done grew my hair out. Grew. It's a testimony, child. Look at child, it. listen. Tip. Come on. Focus now with your mm -hmm. hard headed self. Listen. Oh, That's look. right. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, Ooh wee. And she not playing no games with these. I'm not. Put them in. What's going on? She Put almost done. Mm -hmm. So my girl B came through, okay? When I say she sped and put these things in like it wasn't nobody's business and laid them so flat and so good and this is why i want to point out to keep your hair blow dry because it was just so easy for her to work with y'all can see my hair blending in with these eye tips just so flawlessly and we come out with this are y'all ready are you are, are, are you really ready to see my hair because you you a hater if you say it's eye tips i know you just watched this whole video and saw saw us put them in but you you a hater though if you say it's eye tips. I hate it will always say it's Photoshop. That's what they do. <laughs> like, okay, y'all ready though for real? share with y'all some tips um, that I definitely did wrong. And Brand, she did the, shout out to my girl, because Brand, she came and saved the day. When I say her section <laughs> of what she did, I just wanna show you. Her section is sectioning, honey. I mean, it looks so good. 
like they feel comfortable or lightweight. I absolutely love this big hair. It is just, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's giving me life. I feel like I, this is gonna be my summer look. It's my official summer look. I am going to cut this hair a little bit just to give it a little more shape, but honestly, y'all see it. Like, it's giving everything it needs to give. I'm keeping it just like this. I love this too much. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take these up off my head. I just don't know. It is a natural girl eye tip summer. Like, stop playing with us. We can do it too. We can do it too. But anyway, while I'm trimming, let me share with y'all a few of my mistakes, a few tips for eye tips, okay? So, y'all saw when I was doing my eye tips, I was defining each section. Like, before I put the eye tip on, I would go in with my um, TPH hair cream and I was just defining my curls. Big mistake, do not do that. Leave your hair um, blow dry. Don't do eye tips on wet hair. Don't do eye tips, even if you install in curly hair. Leave your hair blow dry, okay? That is my first big, big, big tip. That's the most important. Look into my eyes when I say this. Leave your hair alone. We don't need to see your curls right now. We don't need to, no. Nah. Leave it, leave it blow dry. Okay, leave it up, leave it up. A few reasons why one is definitely easier to work with. When your hair is blow dry, you can, you know what I'm saying, choo, 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 and just get it done. Number two, it blends better. And I don't know, I just thought like my hair, like trying to match the texture would be better. But honestly, you're going to get so much more blendage. I wish I would have showed you all the difference. Like, even if your hair is longer, because y'all know my hair is short, so my leave-on is kind of like up here. But even if your hair is longer, what you would want to do is kind of just brush everything together and maybe do like a twist style or something like that. Um, or if your texture is like super, super close, I would say go ahead and like define everything at the end all together. But two things, if your hair is like not spot on with the same texture as the eye tips or it's shorter like mine to where it's it kind of would be hard to blend while wet you know the shrinkage be real and all of that leave it alone like for real leave it alone um so when brand took over and did the middle you know she left it blow dry and she was listen she was speeding through that thing and i noticed that the section that she did is just laying flatter it feels neater, it blends better. Like, it's just, you know, back here, there's a lot going on. I did try to go through and um, blow dry, like, some of my hair out, which I, I was pretty successful in. And I also wanna say, this hair, it, this hair is that girl. I was like blow drying, you know, and this hair was letting me go. Like, even in this state, this hair was letting me go down, honey. The blow dryer was going too. So, yeah, this hair is definitely, Top quality. I am gonna come back with some more videos. Um, seeing if I can like straighten this hair and I'm gonna do all types of things with these other tips because I'm telling you I'm keeping these in for a while. But yeah, that's my biggest tip. Keep your hair blow dry. It will make everything easier. If you wanna do a different style at the end, worry about that at the end. Do not worry about styling, defining, and none of that while you are doing eye tips, okay? So tip number two is to definitely leave some room when you are applying the eye tips i feel like i did better once i was able to see the front of my head because i don't really have like a mirror system or nothing when i was doing the back i was just riding on faith child as i said i put them way too close to my scalp they do hurt like when you try to pull it up it's like you feel the the tips you know poking your scalp so definitely do not do that you just want to make sure like the tip itself is far enough from your scalp to where you move it up and down and you don't feel nothing. That's gonna give you a comfortable eye tip installation. Of course, it's gonna loosen up as time goes on because my hair is gonna grow out. But baby, don't do it, don't, don't play yourself in the beginning. Go ahead and have a comfortable install. Eye tips are honestly one of those installs where it's not supposed to, you're not supposed to struggle. Okay, I know when we get our sewing, we, we expect to struggle the first couple days. We might have to take a tire and all. It'd be, it be a lot pulling, but eye tips are not supposed to pull. It's very much a low tension installation, low tension extensions. So do yourself a favor, honey. Leave yourself some room to grow. How much hair are you going to use? Listen, Curl Queen sent me three bundles. Three 
bundles of these eye tips. Look how much I got left. A whole bundle and a whole half. You don't need much. You don't. You don't. You don't. And I felt like I was doing it wrong um, in the back when I, you know, was doing it myself. Um, because I was using so much hair. Like, they was, just right now, they so tight. They, like, packed in together. But when Brand did them, they're much more spaced out. And that leaves room for, like, a just more natural, like, easy breezy flat installation. So, you don't, honestly, you don't need much. <laughs> Your hair density and your texture as well are a factor, but especially with some curly hair, you do not need much, like literally a whole bundle and a half. And y'all, I can't wait to, even though I love this hair like this, I am going to find a curl so I can wear it like this because that is really cute. And also, quick little review on the hair itself. Y'all, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Like I said, I could run a blow dryer straight through these curls and it was just so soft and luscious and just absolutely love this hair. Definitely would recommend for your eye tips. Like this is, this is the hair. This is the hair. You want some good hair when you're doing eye tips. Listen, you got to invest in some quality hair. You leave an eye tips in for a while. Eye tips ain't no little quick weave. So you take in and take out. It becomes a part of you for a little bit. So you definitely want to have some quality hair with eye tips and uh curls queen oh yeah y'all did that i'm so excited about this eye tip install i cannot i just i am very happy honestly i was not that confident because of my hair length i was like uh, i didn't really know if it was gonna go if it was gonna really look right if it was gonna blend but baby y'all see it the short hair girls the 4c girls can do it too so yes honey honey thank y'all so much for watching Huge shout out to Curls Queen, y'all. The, the the tips is tipping. So y'all make sure to check that description box. Go get your hands on some eye tips. Come and see me. You know what I'm saying? Come see us at TRJ Beauty. We are doing installs this summer. This is definitely one of those high paying, like investment hairstyles because you can keep these things in for a while. As long as you keep it up on the maintenance, which I am definitely gonna come back with. Um, you know, maintenance videos, how to wash them, how to style them. All of that, so y'all make sure to stay tuned for that video because these things they gonna be they gonna be our hair for a little minute. So we got some more some more tea to spill with the eye tips. So y'all stay tuned. I'm very excited about my new hair, honey. I'm so excited to have my hurdling. Listen, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling cute. So thank y'all again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.